So the first field is pick a cutter. I'm gonna use a half inch um, core box cutter. That's what I had in the drawing. Now we get to choose where the flutes start and end. So there's our starting and ending position for that flute. So let's come over here and put those in. Seven and 11. So we get to choose what, does, what do we want as a cut depth at the beginning of the flute. And if we wish, we can also have a different cut depth at the end of the flute. And that gives us a cut depth of 0.1875, 3 sixteenths of an inch. Cut depth of 0 0.1875, and we'll match that as the cut depth at the beginning and end of the flute, right? So this is, now we get to choose how many flutes we want to have evenly spaced around the circumference of this part. Number of flutes, eight. And then we choose what is the section diameter that this um, fluting process is taking place on. Here is 2.5 inches, and we can finish and save. So let's generate our G-code. Now let's go to the machine and see this first indexing process take place. Between each flute, the cutter moves out of the way and the stock indexes to its next location and repeats this process for all eight flutes. The spacing is automatically going to be divided evenly based on how many flutes were programmed within this toolpath. All the cutting advantages shown here are automatically implemented into CCAM Pro.